Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. In the first news tonight, The Express have done an article on how they say that Chelsea are interested in buying Harry Kane. In fact, in this article, that is possibly the most ridiculous article I've ever read in my life, they even say that they're going to use this Saturday's game against Chelsea for their scouts to scout Harry Kane, as if they actually need to send scouts to work out whether Harry Kane is good or not. Now, the question for me is, if there were any truth in this, I mean, there probably is truth in it, realistically. Of course, every big club want Harry Kane. Who wouldn't? He's the best striker definitely in the country at the moment, if you ask me. But if there was any truth to it, and actually they did put in a bid, how much money would they actually have to spend to even make Daniel Levy blink to try and think about selling Harry Kane? Upwards of £100 million, if you ask me. Everyone knows that Daniel Levy doesn't sell to other English clubs anymore. He hasn't done since Berbatov in terms of our big names. And would he sell to Chelsea? No, he turned down Luka Modric, uh, 50 million from Chelsea for Luka Modric, and then sold him the year after for 30 million. It's completely ridiculous, and it's like the Express just clutching at straws. It's clickbait, it's terrible, so let's forget about it. Also today, in the Evening Standard on their website, uh, they did an article about how Tottenham were actually uh, scouting Delhi Alley for three years before they made their move. That's right, from when he was 15 years old, we're following him, keeping tabs on him. Apparently, David Pleat was, uh, has been doing some unofficial scouting for Spurs and was talking to the MK Dons manager, uh, Carl Robinson, for years about him. And uh, I think it just shows how brilliant our scouting network is. Apparently Liverpool came in for him during that time. Also Sunderland, Aston Villa and Newcastle were interested. But in the end, that three-year kind of loving kind of scouting mission that we did really worked. And he signed for us, went back to MK Dons for six months. And now we have the real deal, don't we? Deli Ali, one of the greatest signings we've made in my living memory, in my opinion. Uh, guys, maybe you disagree. Let me know in the comments section below. Final bit of news today is another one that keeps cropping up. Apparently, Newcastle are interested in taking Andros Townsend in January. That's according to the Mail. That one maybe does have a little bit more sense to it. Uh, obviously, Andros fell out with the fitness coach uh, and therefore was fined and uh, thrown out of the first team squad for a while by Maurizio Pochettino. He's not getting first team chances. He will want to play in the Euros in the summer for England. And I think his only chance of doing that is if he gets game time in the Premier League. So a, a move to Newcastle might make sense. I personally would prefer it if he went on loan and then we could have him back. Maybe if he went on loan and had another brilliant uh, half a season uh, on loan elsewhere like he did at QPR a few seasons ago, that could work for everyone. Anyway, guys, let us know uh, what you think of those news stories in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a bit